Hey everyone, welcome to Professionals Play. I'm here with Damial from Damial. Hello. Today I am extremely, extremely sad. I haven't ever beat it, but I've played it and I love the gameplay. Uh, Bloodborne. Ah, uh, honestly, might be. It's one of my favorite games. I'm very, very excited to play it for the channel. I'm very excited to have Damial Todd here uh, to record it with me. Let's. Uh I am the unofficial sponsor of this game. Sort of. Yeah, he he bought it so that way I could play it and he could co-commentate on it. It was, that, it was actually kind of funny because over on my channel, I've got, you know, PS4 and going through, but I'm like, I really need a PS4 Pro. Kyle, I have a PS4 I don't need. And I, uh, I of course accepted, but it makes me extremely, extremely uncomfortable to accept <laughs> it. But, uh, I am going to. So let's, let's dive right in. I'll shut up during the cinematic, because it's really cool. I might. Oh. Is there an update? But well, we just installed it. Yeah, we just had a very, very... Oh. Oh, okay, we cannot play online. That's fine. That's sad. That's... I'm totally fine with that. Where's... the controller turn off? Oh, that's right, you have to use D-pad. Alright, uh, is there anything I want to change on the controls first? That's normal. Uh... Yes! Um, yeah, unfortunately, I I don't play any of my PlayStation. Um, I I play single player blind run, so I've never bothered to like actually buy the stupid multiplayer stuff. Uh, on display HUD on. Uh, that's fine. Well, and I I can't even tell. Well, it's I can okay. see the beast there. The beast. Uh, the beast is on the right, right? Yeah. I I, I still can't really see him. I would say. I, I also rather I, I rather like having games be a little brighter. Okay, I was gonna say six or seven seems about right to me. All right. Are you ready? I am fucking. Super this is excited. app version nine. Oh goddamn it! Uh, d literally. I I didn't know it was gonna do that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. How do you know the color of my blood? <laughs> nope. Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel. Oh yeah, it's a creepy fucking game. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin. Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. So while I don't want to reveal too much about it, but I will reveal stuff when basically the game doesn't cover it as um, as completely as it should. Actually... Are you male or female? I haven't decided. Playing a female character is more fun. Just because, like, I don't know. Being Usually when I get the option, I'll go female. Oh, uh, I need skill. Fifteen's the highest. Professional. What do you really what? low strength though? Oh, yeah, you're looking for skills specifically. Yeah, I'm looking at the stats, but I'll I'll also need strength later, because the weapon I want, I believe, has either equal or near equal scaling. Um. Oh, also, more vitality, but less endurance. I'll do an appearance. Oh, there we go. Uh... Frim. What's the capital button on this? Oh, L2. Okay, it's different. Uh... Oh, no. Ah! Oh, no. Uh... Fuck it, friend. <laughs> uh, R2 is done. Alright. Princess Frim? Princess Frim. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, hold on. Now I'm good. Now I gotta. Uh, doot. I have to get used to fucking PlayStation controls now. Which I'm totally fucking kosher with. Forgot where letters are supposed Oh, it's a QWERTY. Okay, I was looking at it alphabetically. It's like, what do you mean you forgot where. Well, I was looking at it and as if it was alphabetical order, and then I realized, like, oh, damn it, now I am too warm. Hold on. <laughs> Can I turn it, like, down? Maybe? Actually, sort of passively. 
I'm a little nauseous, but it's probably just because I'm so excited. Yeah, whenever I get excited, I get nauseous. Alright, ready? Alright, so we cut out some of the like tedium of actually making a character. We have decided, in honor of the fact that we are casting together, this is going to be Princess Frem. She has red hair instead of, well, Prince Frem has white hair. But they both have ponytails. Right. <laughs> or braids. Yeah. A chalice that breaks a labyrinth seal. Hinter tombs are the peripheral catacombs of the old underground... A crude wooden shield used by the masses <laughs> who have arisen to join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields, ineffectual against the strength of the beasts as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. Engender? I like that. It does not term you hear very often. No, it's very but rare. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Wait, I was, like, strapped to a table and we had to Whatever sign a contract? Happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. I really like that they don't let you see his eyes. <laughs> that's just, that just engenders creepiness. Ooh. Ooh. So, I love how... At the beginning, he tells you, you may think this is all a dream. They want to discount the fact that this... Because there's a lot of things that make it seem like it is a dream. Like this. I hope we're not still on a table. Uh, we are. Fire table? No. Yeah, morbid and creepifying enough yet? Yeah. Yeah, this game is downright creepy, just like all the time. Fun fact those guys are actually your friends. Yeah, they're messengers. <sighs> You found yourself a hunter. I found myself a... conniption. Alright. Oh, and we start with some blood echoes, too. Handwritten Skull. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. So they don't really explain this bit in the beginning. It's one of those things that I think is inferred way later, but... You are... Actually, no. I think it mentions what you are at some point, so... Because I very much... I'm, I seem to be a hunter, and apparently there are corpses that like <laughs> me. Alright, uh, so that one, and that one's strong. And right. if I lay on a table, then demons catch fire. I'm going to warn you, during fights it is going to be very hard for me to do commentary, so I'll leave that to you. Okay. If you need me to stop talking, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just babble about stuff. I'm good at babbling. Alright, so. Ahead of time, I will let you know. In this fight, you are supposed to die. You are supposed to get killed in this fight. However, you can attempt to not. Okay, do you have, do you have a weapon yet? No, no, you have a fist. Are you going to be attempting to not? To not die? Yeah. I've... It's really hard, but you can kill him. What? Shit! Need to get back some health. Yeah, you were saying something about how you actually heal by attacking in this. Uh, if you lose health, if you attack something right away, then you get the health back. So who lets massive um, werewolf looking Lucanthrop? Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck! Whoa, shit, that was stamina. So green is stamina. Yep, red is health. What is magic? Uh, I actually haven't had a chance to use magic. Magic is pretty rare, if I recall. Whoa, whoa, back against the table. Whoa, whoa! 
Wow, I might actually be able to kill him. Poke him in the butt. Well, that was held grab the hell. Are we absolutely sure this isn't the doctor? Did we come into his house and just beat him up? Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Come on. Fight me! He doesn't want to fight you. Fuck! Maybe he does. I might actually be able to kill him. Possibly. Oh, well, I'm think... sure this is super boring to watch. I can I can appreciate the tactics of it. Excellent. Did he start with a full health bar or was he already No, injured? he was already damaged. Okay. Shit, I wasn't supposed to start hitting. Unfortunately, the fist does not have a lot of range. I wonder why. Whoa! No shit! I didn't even see you take damage. I believe that you did. I totally did. Can you kill him? Ah! 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 Oh. Well, we'll never know. Maybe, maybe he becomes a lot more aggressive if he's about to. Maybe you can't kill him. I've never. I've. I've only done one playthrough. I made it a point not to start a separate playthrough because, as opposed to the other Souls games, there isn't really a benefit to doing a different type of playthrough. Interesting. There aren't a ton of different play styles. That's surprising. I mean, there are, but... Oh, cool. More cinematic. This game is beautiful. Like, uh, From Software always makes really beautiful games. And now you're dead. If, if you die and you go to a place like this, I wouldn't mind it so much. Oh, Are apparently you sure? you're dreaming. Am I? It says Hunter's Dream, so I want to say yes. That's There's a doll? There's an item somewhere that um, states, or some piece of scripture or something that states, all hunters seem to dream this. However, things that happen here people aren't sure it's a dream because things that happen here affect the real world. Interesting. So, it, there's... It's very Lovecraftian in that it's hard to distinguish what's a dream and what's reality. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Beast... or a uh, threaded cane. Uh, oh, so this is where you... So if you didn't kill that, how would you ever get a weapon? You mean if I didn't die? Yes, or if you did kill that. You, you will die. Okay. In this game, even if I had somehow killed him, if... I think he might be immortal, I'm not sure. Actually, wait, I think you can't leave the room unless he kills you too, so you probably can't kill him. Uh, cool, it's in sword mode. I'll, I'll blow your mind by doing some cool stuff with it later. Alright. Uh, the messengers offer you a firearm. Choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. I personally am a fan of the blunderbuss. The pistol is more accurate and does more damage, but the blunderbuss has wider spread and it staggers a lot better. And it's a weapon used by dwarves. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's right arm, left arm. So, bang. Do you have ammo or uh, just a cooldown? Yes. There, there's not really a cooldown. Um, you do have ammo. You just wasted a shot that you'll never get back. A notebook received from the messengers. Leave messages with these loyal servants to share them with hunters in other worlds. This is a component of multiplayer. You leave messages on the ground and they'll leave messages for you. We don't have multiplayer, which is fine. It's unfortunate. Closed. Well, then open it. It doesn't say locked. Uh, I don't believe... Oh, and I have no blood echoes because I just got killed. Rude. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with the sword to kill this guy. No? After taking damage from an enemy, there's a period of time in which attacking the enemy will, in return will restore a certain amount of your HP. 
We I love how the that. options are close and return, and they both do the same thing. <laughs> R1 when next to staggered enemy, visceral attack. Oh, I thought it was R2. Interesting. Uh, shooting your firearm will interrupt it. Hold on. I think I'm going from the wrong way. Receive assistance from the hunters of other worlds by using the beckoning bell. We cannot do that. You have to do this alone, Assist the hunters of the other worlds by using the small resonant bell. And then... Does it ever say anything about the sinister bell? Gestures. Personal effects. Uh, personal effects are... You can select items to put there. Uh, I'll put that there. So, um... This item will kill you and get rid of all your currency, but it'll return you to the dream. No one... It's not really useful in most cases, but if for some reason you get stuck somewhere, this can be used to head back to base or whatever. <laughs> and trusting your notes with the messengers will allow hunters from other words, worlds to read your words. Only a multiplayer is turned on. The notes held by the messengers contain <laughs> the written wit and wisdom of hunters from other worlds. Oh, and then gestures. Point. Does this game allow you to praise the sun? Uh, no. That would be Dark Souls. You but can, however... There's one similar. <laughs> okay. L1! Transform weapon, transforming attack. I'll show you that later. It's really cool. <laughs> R2, strong attack. Hold R2, charge attack. Hang an enemy from behind with a charge attack causes them to stagger. Shooting your firearm will interrupt and stagger an enemy when properly timed their attack. R1, when next to staggered enemy, <laughs> visceral attack. I love how they're just like, here's a tutorial, here's a bunch of stuff, learn it now, good luck. Yeah, pretty much. That's very much something from software does. Awaken as selected location in Yarnum. First floor sick room. So I wonder what there is to do in the dream, but obviously we'll unlock parts of it as the game goes on. It's more or less a safe zone. But they said the stuff you do there affects the real world, so there obviously is stuff to do there. Like the fact that I obtained these weapons in the dream, and when I go back to the real world, I still have those weapons as an example. Is what I meant. So, like, things that happen there very clearly do actually happen. Alright. Round two, bitch! I'll take those back. Oh wow, that's where you started it. Blood vials. That makes a bit of a difference. Yeah. Apparently having weapons is good in this game. Yeah. Restore HP by using a blood vial. Blood vials. Do all the items glow like that? Or there's something yes. you have to... I believe all of them do. There might be one or two that don't. Can I talk to... I think I can do this now. There's a little hidden uh, thing up here. Can you talk to the man and tell him you killed his dog? Kinda. Hey man, your dog attacked me, so I stabbed it a lot. Out on the hunt. Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. I am Yasefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Sefka's blood vial. So that and is a more powerful own. blood vial. And good hunting. And then there's so they brought us Are here. You still in need of something. But I have nothing more to offer. Please, try to understand my position. I can only pray for a fruitful hunt. Oh, I thought it was going to trigger a different dialogue. So they brought you here and they gave you a transfusion. And the that... person who did that was not her. I know that. Yeah. I mean, the, he very much looked different. Yeah. But still, what's the point of this clinic if you don't want to expose people to infection, but yet you will give them apparently tainted blood? So this is never very clearly explained in the game, which very much confused me until I went to... This is something that you pretty much have to look up. Uh, today is the Night of the Hunt. Um, the only thing I can really 
think of that's an equivalent would be something like the Purge. Okay. Um, except Yarnum, due to its heavy use of blood, has the problem of there is a disease that goes around where if you use too much of these blood vials, you will eventually become a beast like that werewolf we saw. Uh, there's varying stages of that, but generally overuse of blood will drive people crazy. And the yeah. night of the hunt is the night at which people who choose to hunt will be outside, and people who choose not to hunt will be inside and will not let anyone inside because it's the purge. You don't trust anyone on the purge. Interesting. Can that, can that happen to you if you overuse blood vials? Or are you uh, no. protagonist immune? Uh, protagonist immunity. And uh, it can be inferred from... Oh, that's... Fuck, yeah, that's not what I meant to hit. Um, fuck, I just wasted a blood vial. Nope, not stats. Uh, so let me see if I can show some lore. Uh, foreign garb, clothing worn upon awakening to the nightmare of blood and beasts. Not typical clothing for Yarnum, perhaps it is of foreign origin. It is said, after all, the traveler came to Yarnum from afar. Without memory, who will ever know? So the only thing your character really knows at this point is that they came here in search of something called pale blood from a foreign land. <laughs> You're cursed, he said. Ah. Oh, it's 24 minutes. Uh, we'll see you guys next episode. We'll continue exploring. Whew. See you next time, guys. Spooky.